May. So the other day I uploaded a video to YouTube that included this newspaper clipping from 1787 which led to a whole bunch of people writing me comments saying stuff like, yo, why the heck does that say Mathitufits? How come those S's look like F's? Well, the answer to that question is that these are examples of what is now called the long S, an antiquated old version of the letter S that you'll most often see in English writing from the 17th and 18th centuries. Crack open pretty much any old newspaper or book from the 1700s and you just might see something like, uh, overfears instead of overseers or Fympathy instead of Sympathy, or, or how about Safafrafs instead of Sassafras. There are all sorts of different rules for when you're supposed to use a long S, but from what I can tell, only two are really consistently followed. Number one, long S's only go in the middle or start of a word and not at the end. And number two, you only use long S's when you're writing in lowercase letters. For an example of that second rule, I'd like you to turn your attention to the headstone of Mrs. Chloe Wilkinson here, who died way back in 1797. So check this out. We got two instances of the name Wilkinson here, but the long S is only present in the bottom example because the top one is written in capital letters. Pretty cool, right? Finding long S's on gravestones is super fun. Like Chloe's here is really well preserved in particular, and it's just got a whole ton of them. Like the word deceased looks like deceived here. Loss looks like lofts. Cheerfulness looks like cheerful niffs. Spent looks like spent. Like you get the picture, right? All right, that's about it. Everyone say thank you, Chloe, for lending us your headstone. And thank you for watching.